Okay, we're back in the kitchen. Gonna make sort of a Italian type of thing, sort of a carpaccio with uh, some uh, pasta and whatnot. So first off, we need some salt. A lot of salt. A lot of salt. Okay, I want this water salty. That's gonna be some salty water, like seawater. Okay, I need some noodles. Where's uh, my noodles? Alright, there we go, some noodles. Bam. Alright. Now for the meat, all we really need, well, I do want to, so I want to do one thing. I want to make a little sauce. Put a little bit of water in here. Turn that on. In the sauce, I'm gonna put some Swiss chard, actually. So a little bit of Swiss chard, two leaves should be good. Suppose you probably want to see me chopping things, so go. Let us chop. It doesn't really matter the size, just you know, whatever. Okay, put these in here. Okay. Put a lid on it. Turn it down a little bit. Damn. A little more water in there. There we go. Some wine would be good. So now my pasta water is starting to heat up. As you can see, it's starting to bubble. So I'm gonna put some pasta in there. So I'm just making myself a little lunch. So I'm gonna use about that much pasta. Don't need any oil in there or nothing, just some salt. Alright, so now let's work on the uh, the meat. The most important part. Before you drink a big glass of water, you should take a little salt, put it on your tongue. Give the pasta a little stir. Alright, we got some Piedmontese beef here. Yes, Piedmontese beef. And a little bit more. A little bit more, yes. There we go. All right. Grab the fridge. All right. 
So all I'm gonna do with this is just cut it to thin little slices. I got this uh, stir fry cut because it's uh, kind of the cheapest Piedmontese per pound besides hamburger. Just cutting up some meat. It's a lot of meat. And yes, we are going to eat it raw, so you really want to cut it up pretty small pieces. Looks like it might be enough, but a little bit more. Might as well just cut the rest of it, huh? season it if you want but the, the pasta is going to be very well seasoned so we don't necessarily have to do that sure. the chard is coming along uh, so let's make a little sauce. A uh, little dipping sauce for the uh, carpaccio. First thing I want some amino acids. That's going to make up part of the bulk of the uh, sauce. Then I want some lemon juice or lime juice yeah a little lime juice uh, a little bit of salad dressing cilantro avocado salad dressing there we go and if I had some onion I think onion would be good with this I do I do have some onion a little bit of raw onion in there. that up a little bit. Boom. Now we got something to dip the beef in. Let's try it. Oh yeah. That's just right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like God intended. Maybe a little pepper. Good. 
charred is about where I want it. I don't want I don't really feel the need to cook it too much. Or actually I put it right in with the pasta there. There we go. I guess in a way I didn't even really need to cook them separate, but whatever. Stir up the pasta like so. Alright, now I'm just gonna let that do its thing. And then basically I'm gonna stir in some pesto. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna add some olive oil to that now. I'm gonna use my good olive oil. This is Portuguese uh, high polyphenol olive oil. And I think we'll add some grape tomatoes. There we go. All right, that's pretty much it. Dang, that beef is so good with the sauce. Let's try a little bit with this pesto. Raw Piedmontese stir-fried beef. Mm. Better with the, uh, the sauce, though. Let's try a noodle. Okay. Need a little more time. Salt was just right. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Once this is ready, that's my lid for that. Right. Lid on the pasta for a sec. Once that's ready, I'll plate it. It'll look nice. For dessert, I'm having a kiwi. Because it's healthy you get all the B vitamins and stuff it doesn't cook out stuff but it doesn't mean it can't be good I mean raw eating raw meat is sort of a very minimalist way to eat it's really all you need but once in a while I like to try to have some fun with it you know I'm not really a fan of <laughs> Like the liver king style, you know, just hold up a testicle and start chewing on it. I mean, I sometimes eat meat like that, but I prefer to have it a little more sophisticated way. If possible. a little al dente. Alright, that's 
about good. in some pesto. Bam. Bam. That's really all I want to put in there. It's already kind of seasoned from the salt water and you don't really need a whole lot of stuff in here. I don't like I don't need it to be green. I just want it to be lightly coated. Throw some of this Tomatoes in there. And some cheese, which I cannot open up with one hand. Ta -da. Okay. Mix that all up. So, what do you think? Look good? It's gonna be good. Alright, there you go.